have chosen to go 4-3-3. Yeah, and a system that relies on an industrious midfield to cover the ground. Away we go then. Gonzalez looks to slip it through. That looks a good ball. Knocks it away. Oh, he's found him. He's gone for it. Surely this time. Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Yeah, this has been pretty decisive, no doubt as to who the better side is. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Dicks one in. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. And it's Gonzalez. Tries lifting it over. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Plays it back, shakes the shoots. Fair attempt the wrong outcome yeah he may have snatched at that a bit even though it was quite close Joined us well, you've missed no goals. Lobs it in gently. Bujalski. Plays it out to the wing. Bujalski. Get it forward quickly. A real chance to break. All the way back, and they start again. So, who can spark this game into life? Bujalski. Got through to him. It's got through and and a header. A oh, great save, real class. Well, that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his his high class wage. First half, so now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Reflections on the first half. Dinamo Kiev may probably be feeling a, a little aggrieved about not capitalising on such a bright start. Their mood at half-time should be more upbeat. The glass remains half-full and it should spur them on. After 
45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Dinamo Kiev clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Cuts it out. Out to the left it goes. Going through, not long left, and still we await the... Massive leap! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Oh, it was such a clever pass that flummoxed the defence, and it could well be revisited, this. by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Forward it goes. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Well, they've got to deny him time and space, and, and that's one way of ensuring it. Over to the left. Deftly done. He's gone for it! He scores! Listen, I've experienced that both for and against, and you won't have to guess which one I preferred. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Dinamo Kiev take the lead, 1-0. Well, when the going gets tough, etc., um, they can still turn this round, I think. goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Dinamo Kiev are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. And it's Gonzalez. Now the pass. Big chance! And he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. AK Athens, their final change. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Sprint it wide. One good cross, but towering header! Some clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? And that's it. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Well, this game looked to have nil-nil written all over it, but credit to them. They upped their game in the end, and I thought they got what they deserved. Thanks to Jim alongside me.